YouTube and today we're doing the second tutorial on making an advanced game in what what is essentially Notepad or rather Advanced Back to EXE Converter. I haven't been doing these tutorials for a while for two reasons. First of all I've been playing Team Fortress 2. Second reason I haven't really been able to record and thirdly I've got a cold. <laughs> so yeah. Um but I may as well make one because this is the only thing which is keeping my channel going, so let's get straight in. So where we left off, I think we had just created the menu, so let's open that up. Okay, and we're going to resize the window. There we go. And if I am right, minimize it and run the game. We did indeed create the loading screen. And the menu, which that needs to be centered off a bit to the side, but that's not really required now. I'm not sure why we got to this. But we'll leave that anyway. So, what we're going to do here? Pause. No, we're actually just going to open this. And we're going to want to put our menu things there. So, 11, 20. So, let's delete that. Rem, locate, 11, 20, which we'll choose where we want to put our first thing, our first menu choice. So, we'll do one. Which will be start. Um, ek, ooh, rem. Look, oh, I forgot what this is now. So if we did eleven twenty, it would be twelve twenty then. Oh, rem locate twelve twenty, and I typed remo because I am an idiot. <coughs> Sorry about that. Echo. Um, help or rather, sh yeah, we do help. We do help. Um, rem locate 13 20 echo free exit and we're done oh don't know we're not <laughs> set p menu choice equals to and I honestly, I have forgotten how to do this in batch because I haven't been doing batch programming for quite a while now. Mostly forgotten all this, but it's good quick save. Um, what this essentially does is it captures anything which you type. And then after you press enter, it will store it in a variable called menu choice. And then we can refer back to menu choice. So I think if we then type in echo, just I'm going to test this because I've honestly forgotten how to do this. And we'll just do a pause, and we will build our program quickly. And I'd just like to say thank you for watching this tutorial, and also, um, if you need this program, Advanced Batch Week Converter, I have a tutorial on my channel, so if you go and find that, you'll be able to follow along properly and turn it into an EXE. <laughs> let's run the game, and let's see if I've done this correctly, because I've forgotten, honestly. And let's see, we'll just type in some random stuff. Not sure why it's there. Yep, and it prints it out again. Okay. So now we know that I haven't completely forgotten. So what we're going to do here, type, so we'll do echo 1520. Oh, right, no. There. There. Sloppy code. And then echo. Uh type in the corresponding correspond number, which basically means type in the number, say you wanted to start, you would type in 1 and then press enter, and then press enter. And then we'll do some set of if statements, so if menu choice is equal to Copy that quickly. Copy that. Is equal to one. Then go to start. Have we used start already? No, we haven't. We've used start up. Um, if it equals two, then we're gonna go to help. And if it equals three, exit. <coughs> there we go. This should work. And. If it's nothing, we'll just go back to the menu screen. 
And there we go. So if we so if they type in a number which isn't one, two, or three, or they don't type in anything, then it will just take them back to the menu and it will just all reload itself. Let's test that out. Open up. Let it load. Alright, there we go. Type in the score and the number and then press enter. Okay, so let's say we typed in four. Okay, we'll fix that because it's appearing over there. So we typed in four. Should just reload the menu. Or say we typed in uh, something else. Or head of the blah 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 blah. Yep, it will just reload the menu. So that's good. Right, there we go. Now we should probably fix the where where this goes. So we'll just put another rem locate. Rem locate. 1720. Again, the code for this will be in the description, so you don't have to type it out all yourself. You can just follow along in this video and then download it so you don't have to type it all out, which is quite convenient. <laughs> not sure not sure why I moved it there, but oh well. And we do that. And now we type there, okay. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so now that we've done that, we should probably We'll, we'll make the easiest thing first. We'll, we'll, we'll make the help section. So we'll do that. We'll type in help. That's gelp. Help. Uh, we'll clear the screen. Literally title, which will be money madness. Uh, dash help. And then echo. In fact, no. We'll, we'll, we're going to leave the help section for now. We're just going to leave it. We're just going to come back to that later, so we'll just do that. Come back to that later in the series, because for now we don't really need to worry about that. What we're going to do is actually make the basis of the game. Now this game will support uh, loading and saving and loading. So what we'll do is I'll I'll go and look up because um, in my programming folder up here, uh, just just above where I'm recording from. <coughs> I actually have um, a way of saving and loading save files, so we'll I'll go and look at that into the series a bit few episodes in. But for now, it's be money madness. The game. Actually, we've got to do clear screen. Seeing me forgetting everything today. Actually, and we'll do that. Now that we've done that, yeah. we're just going to remlocate one one because I don't really know where I'm putting anything, and we're just going to quickly build it just to see what it turns out like. Actually, no, we're not because I forgot to put a pause. I'm forgetting everything. I am so sorry. So this tutorial is simply just going to be finishing up the menu and stuff. And we'll get into the interesting stuff in episode 3, 4, and hopefully 5 when I get around to it. <laughs> 2. Okay, the help menu works. 1. The help, the, actually, the um, start thing works. So now that all that's working, <laughs> sorry about that, we can do something, oh, I forgot what it's called. In fact, we're going to do this, because you see, if we go to the menu here, you will see, after it loads, that it's all a little bit um, leaning over this side, we want to put it back over there, so we'll change the 20 to a lower number. Okay, so we're back, that was a bit of some issues there, um, we'll do 16. So. Do we have, no we don't have time replace, so we'll have to do it manually, changing all these 20s to 16. And we'll put that down to about 27 I reckon, that should be good. Save, build, save, yep. And now we should have, <coughs> excuse me. A working menu which doesn't look like crap. There we go. 
it actually looks kind of nice. So now that we've done that, I think it's time to end the tutorial here. As I said, this won't be a very interesting episode, but hopefully the next episodes will. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to me and the other members of Blocksite. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.